Hello Bampton fans and welcome to Bampton Racket Review and to this racket test number 672 and we have with us here the Leaning 3D Calibre 300 Bampton Racket. The price of this is around £55, available pretty easily across Europe, pretty easily across um, Asia, uh, America, you can, you can definitely buy in from Asia or from us, we can ship to America, Canada, Russia any difficult uh, locations where the where Bampton is still not massive. Um, we'll sell this racket at www.bampton-racket-review.com Okay, so <clears throat> the format of these videos, by now you should have seen, if you haven't, the format has changed. We will talk about the racket specs. We will compare them to the ESO specs. We will uh, then conclude, no sorry, we will talk about racket design and then we will conclude on what we think of this racket and then we will go on to the e-zone testing. There have, some, there have been some changes this year. Uh, we are no longer doing the control test where we did the drop shots and we drop into a bucket and score for control from that. We've stopped that because of the e-zone members feedback. We now score the control test from using the racket in all different areas of the court, front of the court, uh, back of the court, overhead shots, side shots, um, and then we score for control from there. So that's one change. Also, the E zone is now changing uh, for 2020. It will upgrade. There will be a search function on there. There will be the ability to uh, search for the most recent reviewed rackets. And we are adding a five more elements of testing to give an even deeper understanding for our users of what uh, this racket or any racket you're looking at is like to use. I think that's going to be super, super helpful um, and really give a really decent all-round view of uh, racket performance. Um, and there is even discussion maybe later into 2020 the racket review ESO will become a free of charge platform to um, visit. Anyway, that's all to come. So let's get on to the racket specs. Now, if you're looking at this in a shop, uh, look at the actual grip for the specs because, because leaving notorious for writing nothing of any significant importance on the racket whatsoever apart from you know the standard 3D caliber aero tech beam system what does that mean to you aero tech beam system uh, UHB shaft blah 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 really I just you know Dynamic optimal phone doesn't mean anything to me. So here's the specs. Weight of the racket is 83 plus or minus three grams. 83 plus or minus three grams. The ESO testing. Let me bring up my ESO page. The ESO testing for this racket shows it to weigh 87.7 grams. You can see that is weighed with the grip from leading and the Yonix BG. 65 strings okay the balance point of this racket <clears throat> 296 plus or minus 4 mil so leaning towards the head according to leaning according to our e-zone testing the balance point on this racket is 299 just leaning slightly towards the head in terms of balance the flexibility, uh, according to Leaning, this is a flexible, fully flexible shaft. And according to our own zone testing, it also tested as a flexible shaft. Now, um, obviously, if you look at the specs there, not overly head heavy, flexible shaft, 55 pounds. This is, you know, Leaning's way of competing with uh, the Astrox 39, the Astrox Smash, the Astrox 38 DNS, um, also competing against Abroz, uh, Apex and all of those manufacturers in that area, the 55 pounds just asking for that premium over the other rackets because Leaning are a more established brand than uh, Abroz or Apex are. Okay, so in terms of design, this racket is typically leaning. Some graphic work in the head. Always they use the same graphic work. I'm really bored of seeing it now, but 
it doesn't look bad in fact if i'm going to be completely neutral it doesn't look bad the paint quality outstanding as usual oh, normal leaning high standard highly manufactured uh um bracket um well it's got the nice yellow on top which is quite nice so just have a look at these close-up jpegs and see what you think for yourself Okay, so before we conclude, uh, I did not mention the. Do we don't have a grip size? Do we have a grip size? No grip size. Don't. No. No. No grip size. Okay, but the maximum string tension, thirty pounds on this racket. Okay, and we don't have any manufacturing details. Although I think frame. It says. Oh no, we do. Frame is carbon fiber, and that's it. Manufactured in Shishi, Fujian, China. Okay, what did we think of this racket? Well, <coughs> it feels stiffer than it should, uh, and it feels heavy to use. Um, you need to be mindful if you're a defensive player, because defense doesn't come easy with the racket. Just trying to see what else we've got written here. Uh, I think it'd be easier to tell you what it does, but it, it typically for a leaning racket, it, it has a very good level of control. Um, it offers reasonable uh, smash power, um, but in all the areas where speed counts, it will ultimately be disappointing. So if you're looking for decent drive defense, um, those sort of areas, uh, it's not great repulsion also not great so it's going to take a fair bit of effort and bizarrely for an 87.7 gram racket it just didn't feel and even now it just feels stiff and heavy it doesn't doesn't play anything like the specs suggest so be mindful of that if you're looking at this thing it's 55 pounds leaning it's got to be worth a try you might be quite disappointed uh, so from our perspective it is definitely a thumbs down it's not recommended um, you are much better off looking at the um, Apex Nanofusion Speed, Apex Asgardia, at the any of the Abroz rackets, so the Hammerhead, the Venom, Nano 9900, Force Light. Uh, if you're looking for something a bit more premium, then go straight towards the J Nice Panther, Black Panther Limited, because different league, different league of airspeed, different league of everything, to be honest with you. Really, uh, this racket is um, nowhere near the marketplace at £55, nowhere near the competition at £55. Uh, if you're going to produce a racket leaning at £55, my recommendation would be you at least try out how the competition's rackets feel and perform because this one doesn't really hit the mark. Hope you found that helpful. We will now move on to talk about the E-Zone. Uh, for those of you who are very familiar with the E-Zone, you can tune out and before you go, please let me thank you for your support, for the comments, for the feedback, for the likes, for the shares. Really, really appreciated all over the world. So, so nice of everybody to be involved. Uh, what we would like to see a bit more of is the leaving the reviews on the YouTube channel. If you're an E-Zone user, start leaving reviews in E-Zone. So, so important that other people get views on each and every racket, even if those views are different from ours. As I always say, just make sure you write something helpful and not like you are a bunch of whatever and don't know what you're talking about. That's not really helpful. That's just your opinion on us. It doesn't really help the next person choose a racket. So if you're going to leave something even if it's going to be something that's going to be criti critical to us it's okay but just make it helpful right so for those of you who know about the e-zone you can tune out and see, we'll see you on the next video for those of you who don't let's talk about the e-zone quickly so the e-zone is a platform where you can compare rackets from 19 different world-class manufacturers or in one place never being able to do no one in Bampton ever been able to do that before 
Uh, and when you do decipher a racket, you can drill down onto each individual racket and really see a lot of information on that racket, helping you significantly in your decision making process. What do you need to know about the E-Zone testing? Well, at the moment, the E-Zone testing is only, uh, we only use the E-Zone testing uh, for the uh, smash test and maneuver test. And we also, obviously, there's the weight testing, the swing weight testing, they're, they're the flat testing, so the what we call flat bench testing. Uh, the court testing is the smash test and the maneuver test where we measure the speed of the head in the maneuver test for in kilometers an hour and we, we measure the both the head and the shuttle speed in the smash test now what you, what you need to know is we restring all of our rackets using yonix bg65 string at 25 pounds of tension we use the same shuttle as the yonix as30s for all of our testing and we use we've had the same player doing it the testing from the start. So we're going to move on to see the 3D caliber uh, 300 smash and maneuver test as soon as they are completed we will be signing out so I will say my buys now we'll see you on the next video here's the smash test.